Let me just rotate this for you guys so you can see it nice and slow. That's slow enough for you? You can only put a character like that sideways inside here. Yeah. Shake him a little bit. What's that cat again with the rainbow coming out of his mouth? I can do that with deer and throwing up the rainbow. If I had a nightmare about deer, this is what he or she would look like. Kind of scary, right? You're the one who made me. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and yay! You might not recognize this, and that's because, finally, something else new to review for you guys. So, sorry for the slow uploads. It's been very, very busy for me, for my family. Tyler is in school for the first time, so I've been doing a lot of that, prepping and doing some family stuff, and, you know, just doing my thing. So, I'm trying to get videos out to you guys, so thank you so much for hanging in there, being patient, and welcome to all you new subscribers. If you're here, you're here to look at some new alternative brick brands. Here's one of them right now. I have not reviewed yet. So the two things that you're seeing right here is from a brand called Winners. So I don't really know what to think about these guys. Are they winners or are they losers? If you've had experience building with this brand, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know how long they've been around for. They have tons of other little themes. I chose this one. I don't know if this is fit for the city or for you guys. So I'm gonna review these guys in pairs in the order of the booklets. Yeah, check it out. Here we go. So this is Winner's Dreamland series. Watermelon Fruit Shop. No technical name for this. 183 pieces. So let's look at the manual first because this is what it looks like and I have it here. I don't have the box for it. But first impression is it kind of looks ghetto, like cheap. I don't know how to explain it. Like if you saw this in a shop, would you buy this? Or would you just go for a Lego brand brick? It's just, I don't know. It just seems a little bit off. And you know, here's the other sets. There you go. I'll review them for you. If you like this video, or if you wanna see more of these, I'll do them in pairs just for you guys. This being my first time to build this brand, I can tell you the clutch is good. In some parts of the bricks, they're like over clutched. The thing is super tight, not gonna fall off on you, except for some of the bricks, quality wise, some scratch marks here and there, it's not perfect. You know what, this is actually a lot like that brand Enlighten, and I have done some reviews, check them out up here. So if you're familiar with that, it's kind of like that, that's what it feels like to me. And actually I have to say, one thing that they are winners about is the logo design, or like the pieces that are on each set, kind of makes up for the whole thing. So most of the Dreamlands theme series of this one is gonna be kind of on the same plate. So that is kind of good. There's a couple of them that extend out a little bit, but there you go, that's the plate. You can see it upside down, single plate. They're all built on that. So just by looking at the front of this thing, it looks, yeah, it really does look bare minimum here, right? It's not tiled. Well, it looks like it's an outdoor fruit stall, so that's fine. They have two tables here and chairs. It just looks so plain. And the chairs are not to minifigure scale size. So this entire Dreamland series is actually based on kind of the friend series of Lego. Man, can it be original? The chairs should have been changed. I don't like those chairs. It just looks weird. So the trees that you see here on the side, they kind of remind me of bamboos. And I don't know if they should be in the set. They just don't look like they belong there. That's what it would look like if we took all the trees apart and just kind of made it more like a bushy area and I put the top pieces on the top here. So is that better or is that worse? I kind of like it. That's my own remark right there. Yeah. But you get plenty of these branches and you know you're gonna break one of them somehow. What is cool is most of these sets, they kind of just place the actual build onto the set like that. Like you can take this piece off and just get rid of that. And here you go, you have a little fruit stand right there. Has two wheels on the front. The wheels don't touch the floor. It's just decoration. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. But that's cool. You can detach it, attach it, however you want to do it. Yeah, while that spins, let's look on the inside of this. There's nothing on the inside. That built out the wrong way. It's like one's opening up from one side, one's opening up the other side. Maybe I had that flipped around. I'm not sure. This is as plain as it gets, but I do like the colors. It's kind of like an Italy color, right? There are a couple stickers there on the tiles on the front that is really telling you it's a fruit shop. I can't make out what the sticker says there, but I can see a pineapple and lime on one side and fruit juices on the other side. So you know that this is a fruit juice shop. That black pot thing has to go. Why do they have that in this set? Doesn't need to be there. And two, very simple, those handle pieces, you just assume those are the sauces or the juice machine. I wish it had more detail on the inside. That's all it's got. It's like nothing in there. It's like super, super plain. At least make a fruit juice machine or, you know, more drawers or something. But the cool thing about this is just watermelon piece. It was actually a lot of fun to put together. 
And like, you know, I'm a sucker for these 3D signs. This thing is actually making my mouth water right now. Ah, I want a watermelon juice. But look, seriously, the design of this thing is actually pretty cool. I like the imagination, how they use the black there for the seeds. Again, nice clutch so you can kind of rotate it however you like. If you want it down like that, pointing up like that, it's up to you. It does have a couple of glass panels here on both sides. They're really kind of scratched up. That's winner, man. That's what happens when you get these third party brands. You get what you pay for. As a matter of fact, I don't even have these on the store yet. I think it'll be up by the time this video goes up because I'm just not sure if these are going to sell or if you guys are want to buy them. But, you know, yeah, why not? Let's just put it on the store. Should be on the store now. Go check out pickmeupscotty.com. The whole series or whatever you want. Email us, all that kind of good stuff. See what you think. Yeah. All right. Now it does come with a couple figures. Okay, so we got, what are these called? Mini, there's not mini figures, right? They're just like friend figures, but it, are these trademarked? I have no idea. We'll just take a look at the girl first. There she is. She's wearing a top there that says a fruit shop. At least it's printed and the printing looks fine, but that's about it. Hair piece is okay. I mean, got some holes on it, like the way it was printed. Eyes, mouth, print looks okay, but yeah, just not my thing. Guy looks a little bit worse with that pattern top on. Who would wear that apron? At least it's bright and colorful and he looks happy. The hair piece actually looks like it belongs to a minifigure rather than this kind of figure, but yeah. You guys let me know. You like, you don't like. And the one thing that is nice about this set is that it does come with a couple accessories. You got a guitar here, and you know, someone's gotta rock out while they're eating watermelon, man. Then you got the ice cream here, so it's nice. You have ice cream and a guitar. We'll put, we'll leave the guitar there and put the ice cream on the table. And you got a couple more really super small stickers here. One is like a watermelon shape, and the other one is like a grapefruit. At least you get a couple of those. Stickers are really small, by the way. Put them here on the table. And finally, you got some cherries. We'll sprinkle the cherries. They're falling all over the place. Now it looks a little bit more juiced up. Get it? Then we got this pink scooter. Same scooter we've been seeing everywhere else with this gold handbag on the back. Not sure why. Does she fit on here fine? She sure does. She can, can't really sit though. Stand this guy over here. I like this logo bit. I actually like the colors of the set. It's just, yeah, it's plain, right? It's just kind of bland, but it's kind of cool. So enough with this one, let's look at the next one because I quite like this next one. So this is Winner's Dreamland Camera Shop, I guess. 290 pieces. Again, super thin, small manual. This one actually kind of caught my eye because I'm like, this looks kind of different. So yeah, let's just take a look at it. This thing is bleeding rainbows. That doesn't make any sense. Despite this one being just as bland as the other one, I actually really like the front here. And they just went all out using the color stretching from the front here, going up and over. That is kind of cool. And of course, I absolutely love this camera. And it can come off, look at this. So easy. If you're gonna buy this or any of these sets, just buy this one just for the camera. Like, cool, man. And I think there are actually a couple pieces I haven't seen before. And the technique and the build were something refreshing. Can you believe that? Something so bland? was refreshing. You got a door here on the right that's like a jail door. I don't know why they have that there, but you know, I guess they wanted to just make it look unique or their own style. I like the flowers. It's actually really cool. You can kind of adjust them yourself. You know, you don't really have to follow the booklet, but you can like turn them around here. And I, I like I like that. I think it's actually kind of neat. I thought that was actually really interesting that they don't have any doors here, but they use at least four door panels to make it look like a walkway. And doing that actually gives it like this own flavor, this design. And of course, more windows on both sides. But one side, they have these stickers on there. Oh man, the stickers that you're going to see on these particular sets are kind of, I don't know, they just like took them from stock photos or what. But okay, let's look at the one here on the top. It says, now shooting! Exclamation mark. Three of them. This girl with the camera. I don't know, man. It kind of makes it look even more cheap than it should be. If they just took it off, it would look like this almost clean, nice and clean. I'd rather have nice and clean. So, you know, you have the option. Don't use the sticker first, put it together and see what you think. The bottom one says, retain nature, retain youth and retain happiness. At least it's a positive message, but what a random sticker. Two girls and, and two animals, cats and a rabbit. Okay. You know, I kind of like this purple colored base plate. I thought that was actually pretty cool. At least it's not black, you know? Now, here we go, the bland part on the inside. This will take like three seconds to review for you guys. No tiles again on the inside. It's just a display case 
it's funny they use like a vehicle windshield as a display case two handbags on one side two cameras on the other side that's it they could have done a lot more in the inside but all the sets are going to be like this the good thing is i know that you're out there some of you guys absolutely love it with no interior so you don't mind it so it's bland there you go that's as bland as you can get the bad news is it's bland okay so we come to the camera which i'll detach again put this to the side here this thing is so awesome i love it look at this thing it's solid for sure and the back does open up. Look at that. How cool is that? I've always kind of wanted a camera in Lego form that you really can't find. It's hard to find, but I'm surprised they made this. I like the front. I like the see-through bit here. It looks like a lens there. And no, it doesn't have a viewfinder here, but I think it's pretty good. Now, again, the tiles aren't really super clean looking, but you know, they have the shutter button here and they have the, the dial here and it's creative, man. It's actually, I get kudos for whoever made this camera, right? Dear, say cheese. Pose. Yeah, smile, dear. Keep going. Pose. Strip. Take it off. Don't forget to smize. Smize. There. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And if you wanted to see it without the camera here, which is the colors, the bleeding rainbow, there it is. And of course, let's look at the figures again, just like the other one. So look at the girl. Nice printing. She has stars on her top there and she has blue glasses. It'll be interesting. I'm going to try these hair pieces on regular minifigs to see if they fit. But you know, again, these just aren't my thing, but there she is. She at least looks happy. Then we come to this guy who has a camera printed on his shirt. So that's kind of cool. I don't know his legs, you know, he looks like a cross between a farmer and a shop owner. So I'm not quite sure. I do like the hair piece. That's kind of cool. I ain't got the standard bike here, but I like this clip that they put on. They put on this tile here. It's like a picture. So there, they just printed this picture. They took a photo together, a selfie somehow, and printed it and put it on this bike because that's how they roll. They're going to roll with a photo on a bike. It just makes no sense at all. All right, boys and girls, it is dimension times. Break out your base plate, 32 by 32. And you know what? These are both the same size. So I'm just going to put this one here like that. So I'll put this one here up front like that so you can see it sitting nicely look at that they both can fit on here you can probably fit two more on here because these are 16 by 16 on all four sides yeah you want me to rotate that for you nicely there you go cool now while we're here let's check the height all right here's my one by four bricks what i'm going to do is push this to the side here we'll do the camera first put this right here that adds up to about 15 bricks in height yeah just right now let's do the watermelon so i put the watermelon facing straight up there so it gets a maximum height if i put the bricks see if i can slot it in here there we go right there we gotta move this over one look at that oh it's just it's like so slightly it's almost the same right there well that's around 16 bricks in height so there you go. And one more thing, this base plate here is kind of flexing a little bit. I just noticed that while reviewing the video. So you might want to just take this off and put it directly on your base plate. All right, dear, thoughts, winner, loser? Hmm, I'm liking it, but I don't know yet. We need to see more. Yeah, I think Deer's right. We need to look at more of these first, right? To really confirm if we like this brand or not, yeah. But they do have a lot of the other themes out there. Of course, it's time for the drop test. Go about that high, countdown, five, Four, three, two, one. Oh! 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 Not too bad. Sides came off. The branch bamboo crazy thing came off, which is to be expected. It's not bad though. Okay, put this one aside. Right there. Oh, I don't want to have to rebuild the camera again, but here we go. Same deal. Five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Hey, hey, hey. Camera sturdy. That's good. Look, still one piece. It opens up and closes. And just a little leaf came off. How about that? All right, so there you guys go. Winners, the Dreamland series. More to come. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Yeah? All right, you guys. Until next time, bring me out. Can make this like a Gatling gun.
We'll do a little rotation for you so you can see what the set looks like. That looks slow enough for you. What's on the other side? Sing with me, dear. You're joking, right? He's going to bow like this and go, I'm so sorry, this set is not so good. For those of you, I know they're your ally. Uh, is it four? Oh, look, I almost dropped the camera. Very cool indeed. Dear, would you like some watermelon? Have some, have some watermelon. Eat. Is it good? Does it taste yummy? Yeah, you like that? What do you think, I'm a dog? You know, I'm gonna review it and let you guys, let me think what you, but you, but you, I think that was all wrong. Maybe this is a prison for people who have stolen photographs and uploaded them to their channel. But they made it nice and colorful so you can enjoy yourself when you go inside. Hey, hey, now this is what I'm talking about. Dear, even you can eat this stuff. You don't know how excited I am. Look at all this food. Mmm, yummy. Hey, why are you dressed like that anyway? Oh, you mean this outfit? This is from one of the sets Big Scotty still has yet to review. Man, he's so busy. Oh, look, Scotty. There's a little kitchen back there. Okay, I'm gonna make you some juice. Now, there's a guitar over there that doesn't look like it belongs here. But why don't you play us a song? Why don't I make us a drink? Oh yeah, it's time to rock out. Um, <coughs> oh, one, two, three, four. Scotty, where are the other videos? Why are you taking so long? We're all waiting for you. This is the worst kitchen I have ever seen. There's nothing in here. Where is everything? Well, you know Big Scotty did decorate the table for us. Look, there's plenty of stuff here. Yeah, but I want more. You know what? Wait a minute. Dear, where did you go? Where are you? I don't know. Now this is more like it. Yummy. Nom, 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 nom. What the heck? You gonna save any of that for me? There you go. How's that? Hey, you're right. This is pretty good. Ah, and now I'm feeling refreshed. Dear, now where are you going? Scotty, look over here. Even better, the camera shop. Let's go shopping for some new gear. Oh, nice. But you know, Big Scotty actually just got some new gear. He's been using it for this video. Can you guys out there tell the shots now? A little bit different? Yeah, is it better? I don't care about that stuff. Look at this rainbow behind me though. This is a beautiful background. Scotty, go inside. Grab the camera and take a photo of me here, please. Excuse me. So demanding. All right, I'll be right back. Guys, what do you think, huh? Do I look pretty? Do I look beautiful with this background? Oh, this is so good. Let me lie down and pose myself. Yeah, that's even better with the flowers over there. Scotty, where are you? Hey, hey, this is kind of cozy in here. I like it. I can't really stand up, but at least I can sit down and chill and I don't have to listen to deer. Ah. Uh. Okay, that's long enough. I better go help the guy. Okay, jump down and find some cameras. Well, not much of a choice here because I just have to use this one, which looks like the other one. I've been waiting so long. I'm coming, dear. I'm coming. All right, hold still. Hold still. You ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Smile. Okay, now move to the left. No, I don't like that photo. Take it like this. All right, tilt your head back a little bit like that. Okay, now look down. Scotty, you done yet? Okay, now smell the flowers. And do it like this. Lick the rainbow. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, dear. Looks like our work here is done. Now what? I have no idea what Big Scotty has for us. He's always changing things up. Hold up, guys. Now, before we end this video, I promised I would try those characters' wigs on you, Scotty. Let's see if they fit you, all right? Hey, now, it fits you. <laughs> Scotty! I can't stop laughing. I can't breathe. Big Scotty, try another one on him. All right, all right. Hang on. But Scotty, that one doesn't look so bad on you. Yeah, you're right. This one actually looks like it belongs to a minifigure. Hey, something's not right here. No, no, Big Scotty. No, not this one. <laughs> oh, that one's the best one. Oh, oh Big Scotty, take a photo for us, all right? All right, you guys. Hold still. Don't move. Here we go. One, two, three. Dear, you want to print this photo with this hair? Man, why are you guys going to make fun of me? Anyway, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Big Scotty, you better come out with more videos. You better. Bye-bye, you guys. See ya.